So, as Bethany has talked about what our perspective is on missions, uh, specifically about relationship, incarnational ministry, uh, specific help to those who are helpless, needy, poor, and shalom. Well, I want to share more of the story of what happened in putting together how we decided to help Fempulu. When I moved, well, right before I moved to, to Zambia in 2006, a pastor in South Africa gave me some great advice. He said, Jeremy, you've got some great plans, but be flexible. I held that advice loosely, but as time went on, I realized how important that advice was. As I came to Zambia, I did have a lot of good ideas, a lot of helpful ideas. What I learned when I moved to Zambia was that I needed to take into account the differences of people. One group here, one group here, they have differences. They're both Africans, they, one's in South Africa, one's in Zambia, they're both poor, they're both needy, however, they are still different people. They have different perspectives, they have different ideas. You can't use the same way of doing things for both groups. Yes, there's similarities. Yes, the, the main ideas are the same. However, how you present yourself to the community, how you interact with the community, is different. And so, for two years, Bethany and I spent a lot of time being a part of our community. Part of the reason that it took a full two years was that we had a lot of barriers to overcome. And that's why the principle that Bethany talked about, relationship, is pretty much the most important principle to us. We believe that unless you have relationship with people, you can't really know people. And if you don't really know people, you can't really know how to serve them. This idea has been affirmed through our neighbors. Many of our neighbors have commented about how we know them. Many of our neighbors have commented on how we understand what they're going through. Many of them have looked at how we live and how we interact with them and made comments emphasizing that we are a part of them, that we are one with them. Um, even the little boys uh, um, at one point were talking to Bethany and they were debating amongst themselves and debating whether or not she was actually black. And they said, she knows us, she knows our language, she lives like we do, she must be black. And then the other kids were saying, yeah, but look, she's still white. Well, so they decided, well, she's at least colored then. And to those little boys, the concept wasn't actually color the idea was that we were actually a part of who they were and a part of their community and we were one of them and because of that they put a lot of trust in us and in what we bring to them and what we share with them so we wanted to see shalom and fempulu we wanted to see the total flourishing of our community there were certain areas that we felt the lord calling us to help and Pulu gained shalom in. Those areas were relational shalom, spiritual shalom, physical shalom, economical shalom, educational shalom, and environmental shalom. Those were the areas that we felt that the Lord wanted us to focus on in bringing the peace of Christ to Fempulu. So what we want to encourage you in is not a step-by-step -step process in moving from your perspective of missions to a program of missions, but to share with you that you really need to spend relational time with whoever you're going to be doing missions to. Missions, there's not a 
step-by-step -step thing that you can do and then you get your result from it. There's not a, a way of doing things that can work for every place, but that only by spending time with your neighbors and knowing your neighbors and having relationship with your neighbor can you then know how to serve your neighbors. Remember that Christ commissioned us to love our neighbor as ourselves. So we need to make sure that we meet people where they're at and that we meet people for who they are, making sure that we don't put our own assumptions and our own perspectives on those people, but letting people be who they are and loving them as Christ would love them through relationship.